It's Bunny, and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today, we're gonna be kind of testing out two products that I've never tested before, but this is definitely the item that popped up, of course, where else? I can already hear it in the back. Uh, the For You page of TikTok, I was shown an eyelash dryer, a fake eyelash dryer. You guys, I feel like I should bust out my mini washing machine, which do you guys remember that? There was like the whole uh, beauty blender mini washing machine. Well, I have not seen people like wash beauty blenders with that for years now, but now people do seriously use it to wash their fake eyelashes. You can have the spin washer and the dryer. I almost called it a blow dryer. It, it maybe kind of is. Uh, so this is called Blow by Brie with a very fancy spelling for the word blow. Now you could get it in pink or black, shockingly enough. The one time in my life black was an option. I did pick pink because I thought y'all would be able to see the eyelashes drying inside of the device a little bit better to have black eyelashes in a pink container. We needed a nine volt battery, which luckily we had laying around the house. Let's see how loud the fan is. I think in the listing, it also said that the fan blows heat. Is that even possible? Like, is this a tiny, tiny little hair dryer in here? All right, I would argue really quiet. There are these two little like clips. I don't know what we would call them. So that is where you secure your lash band. And I personally don't have a spoolie that fits in here, but I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. So this is like product one. Product two, which I don't think there's any chance that this isn't gonna work. I've just personally never tried it before, is the Stace, Stace? Anybody out there named Stacy? Stacy Lash Lash Shampoo. So I picked this up on Amazon. It has very high ratings. It's another product that I've seen a lot of people use on TikTok, but mostly when they have eyelash extensions. So you get this little set. I think that this is obviously going to be a foaming product and you do get a nice little cleansing brush as well. I mean, I thought since this works for eyelash extensions and it is the only product on the market that I saw that was called Eyelash Shampoo, this is what we're going with today. We are going to be testing this set of lashes. And because I wanted to give you guys an extra jump scare today, I did go ahead and bust out the little microscope. Now I used to literally never recycle eyelashes. And I don't know if y'all are like this with your bodily sensitivities, but sometimes my eyes will like go through a period where they're like so super sensitive and I struggle to like reuse eyelashes. And then sometimes it seems like I can reuse a set like two or three times before I have to throw them away. I wanted to really zero in uh, so that we can see a really good before and after like how much makeup and eyelash glue residue is going to come off of these. You guys looking at it under the microscope, it does look kind of icky. I definitely, I maybe even used these four times. You guys, I repurchased these lashes from Amazon all the time. They're super dramatic. I love the way that they look. Not being like super sanitary with these today because I did just kind of want to do this as a demo. Ultimately, I was getting this system to attempt to revive the world's longest eyelashes that I do own. I've been wanting to re-wear those, but I honestly have not put them on in like five months. And I feel like maybe the bacteria that has most assuredly grown on them at this point is probably too nasty to put on before I clean them in some fashion. And I honestly like didn't know what to clean these lashes on. Like I feel like I needed a solid non-porous surface. So I'm gonna just do it on this Nirvana CD. Why not? Now they stick to it now, but I'm assuming once we like remove the old lash glue, you guys, it's a vibe. Oh, this is also a makeup remover? Oh, it does say foam, lash, cleaner, and makeup remover. Interesting. I am really curious to see. Oh, that does not look like a small amount, folks. Maybe I'll use this for both lashes. I feel like an artist 
over here. So the top like already looks noticeably different. A lot of what I saw in the microscope is definitely the um, Jelly Much. That is the product that I feel like is really on these lashes. I'm sure you guys saw like the big glitter chunk looking stuff. Gosh, I do kind of feel like they look better already. All right, I think I do need just a little more for this lash because I'm not sure if you got, oh, we almost lost it. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the product does kind of start to dissipate a little bit. See the underside, like, oh my gosh. I feel like obviously, maybe not obviously, I feel like I see this a lot now where people put on their fake eyelashes first and then do the rest of their makeup, which makes, you know, I, I guess that makes a lot of sense. But I always put on my lashes as like a last step. So I feel like maybe that's why like the glue just sticks to every single product that I've applied to my eyes. Cause that was kind of the nasty thing about looking at it under the microscope. You could definitely see like the layers of makeup where I had done like purple, eyeshadow look and then I had just done like eyeliner one day and then I think like there was kind of a crusty layer that just looked like my foundation. I feel like I've probably bored you guys enough with this soaping footage so I will come back for the water rinsing step. I just scrubbed and scrubbed for a little bit longer. Nothing too extreme, probably five minutes all together. But I figured, hey, you know, a product is only gonna be as good as like you kind of vigorously get in there with the brush and try and like actually scrape the glue off. And now you guys, I am bringing in water in my all time favorite way. We have a tiny toilet. Cause I thought, you know, maybe I'll just dunk them in the water. I was like kind of trying to think like, okay, if you had the lashes or the lash extensions like attached to your face, you know, you're gonna put a bunch of water on them, I guess. You guys, I've only had lash extensions um, one time in my life and it did not work out well for me. So needless to say, I don't have very many memories of how that worked. So there we go. Also, interestingly enough, let me actually lift the lid so maybe y'all can see even better. It does already look like a lot of the purple makeup, the foundation and like the other stuff I was describing, it does look like a lot of that is gone, but I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see in the footage or not. They still do look quite shimmery. So I don't know, that might just be something that stays with them. You guys, this is a very interesting clip I'm making down here. Just eyelashes <gasps> floating in a toilet. Ooh, it looks like maybe we're getting some more residue. I was kind of scared it was gonna make the lashes look wonky, you know, especially as I was like really in there scrubbing them. I thought maybe we were gonna see like lash fallout. I don't exactly know what we would call that, but like losing some of the fibers, but really I've only seen one and the lashes actually look fluffier. So let's fish them out here. And we've moved on from the Nirvana CD to 98 degrees for the water process. I've like imported all these CDs. So at this point, they're just more or less like fun little props for me. Now they are looking a little less fluffy now. That's what they look like now. Let's spoolie them. Ooh. I mean, definitely the problem now is not the curl still, which I mean, that's what's like, honestly, super shocking to me. I really did think that the lashes would lose their curl. But if anything, they look like curlier, they are just like more stuck together. But I do feel like um, that's one of the reasons I really love this lash style is we do have these like bunches or like clumps of lashes and then like lots of wispies as well. So some of them I think are just gonna be clumpy. I feel like we're almost at the most exciting step. Oh, these were like holding a lot of water. Did y'all see all the water droplets? They said, I think five minutes. I would honestly be super shocked if these would be ready in five minutes. They feel super wet. That was the other thing I was like really concerned about is the lash band. Like would it still have plenty of curl? I don't know. All right. Uh, so let's just clamp the band. Look at that. <gasps> Are these going to be 
Okay, good. I was like, are these gonna be like too long? That's kind of the thing is I feel like in the past couple of years, I've really just loved like monster long eyelashes. I think I at like 35 millimeter lashes is what I'm always looking for. Like I'm literally always looking for extreme, extreme length. Okay, now that they're sitting in there, let's give them one final comb out. I don't know why like this one looks like it's doing a little bit better. It doesn't feel super strong. This is what they look like. Um, you guys can still see they're really wet. So I'm at least gonna let them go for five minutes and then we'll check in and see if they look totally dry or if it looks like they need more dry time. Ah. All right, you guys, five minutes is up. I don't quite think that they're done yet. So let's see what they look like after five minutes. They still look pretty wet. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let me turn this off. You guys, I'm like having a moment right now. During the time that I was like filming the time lapse, the five minutes, I did want to see if there seemed to be any heating elements in this like a miniature hair dryer, which I would have been really shocked if there was. But like when I just came back after five minutes, they look really, really shiny. But when I touch them, they honestly feel completely dry. You guys, this is wild. Okay, let me just take this one out of the clip. Ooh, it still feels quite tacky. Like I'm sure you guys can see it will stick to my finger. I don't know what that means. Does that mean that the packaging adhesive is still on there, which wouldn't shock me? Cause like when I've gotten these lashes before, I have tried to remove the packaging adhesive and I feel like I just like ruined a strip of lashes. So I never tried that again. Uh, but you guys, honestly, in a weird way, it feels like tackier maybe, like, I don't know, like we cleaned the adhesive or something. So now it's gonna like adhere better. You know those like clear sticky pads that you put in your car to hold your phone or something? Like it's giving that where you like clean it off and then it gets sticky again. You guys, these lashes are totally dry. This is crazy. Let me just put them on this grimy old piece of paper. So hopefully y'all can see them a little bit better. I don't really feel like this camera is very interested in focusing today, uh, which is a tragedy. So there we go. I mean, very fluffy, very curled. Like the actual lashes themselves don't look damaged in any way. I mean, they definitely look a lot cleaner. This one, I still see like some purple shadow on. So let me bust out the microscope. The results are in from the microscope. And honestly, I'm shocked that they don't look a lot cleaner because they feel a lot cleaner. I feel like one of the bands you could really see a lot of foundation on and I feel like the foundation does look drastically less than it was but I also kind of feel like this is one of those experiences that I kind of can't tell 100% what's going on live and I'd probably be more shocked like as I'm reviewing the footage when I'm editing to put them side by side. So y'all have to tell me. I mean, definitely I still see some little bits of shimmer and everything like even sprinkled throughout the lashes, but just visually uh, they look like a brand new pair of lashes. It's kind of crazy. I mean, without the sticky residue on the back, I feel like these look pretty new. I feel like obviously there has to be some benefit to this because, you know, it has to be cleaner to like wash something versus to just wear it like four times over without washing it in between. But then again, I was like reusing these lashes. And once again, I have not really been experiencing any sensitivity with that. Now I did switch over to this miraculous kiss super sensitive, like natural um, eyelash glue. And I feel like ever since I switched over to that product, like all together, I've been having less irritation when wearing 
fake eyelashes. So I don't know, you guys. Once again, I feel like I'm like tossing this to the audience, asking the audience, what do y'all think? Do y'all see a big difference in the before and after? I'm honestly gonna give both of these products two thumbs up. I really, really like the lash dryer better than I even thought I would. Like I thought it was just kind of like a gimmicky kind of product, to be honest. I definitely thought like after fully submerging and saturating the lashes that it was gonna take longer than five minutes before they felt completely dry. Now, the only thing I will say is I feel like this device is like super expensive for what it is. I'm pretty sure this is like a small independent business. Like I do not know anything about this company. I just ordered the product after seeing it on TikTok, but I'm pretty sure altogether with shipping, this was $40. So I'm pretty sure that the last shampoo, package, brush, and shampoo was 15, and this was 40. So once again, you just kind of have to take into account, like, are you buying nicer, fancier eyelashes that you really want to take care of and preserve and wear over and over again? Like I said, I mean, these I get on Amazon, I'm pretty sure, like, I get, like, 10 pairs for $10, but definitely I've used lots of like velour lashes and stuff in the past. And I'm pretty sure those are like $40, $50. Also like Glamnetic lashes, the magnetic ones. I feel like the whole false eyelash thing like has come down in price, like even the super fancy like reusable ones. So yeah, you just have to, like for me, it's usually because I have a certain style of something that's discontinued and I'd like to keep being able to like wear it or use it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if y'all have tested any of these products for yourself. I'm gonna say yes, they both do really work because if I hadn't looked at it under the microscope, I would have thought like, wow, completely clean just based on feel. So I'm gonna say that they do work, but I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.